Who's the cutest robot? Robbie is a name. Making friends with animals. That's Robbie's favorite game. On land and in the sea, in deserts and in the tree. Who wants to play with Roby? Me, me, me. Let's see. Like you're ready to ride, Roby. Do you know what animal this is? That's right, it's a horse. Horses are some of the biggest and most beautiful animals in the world. And did you see that, Roby? It's the horse's mane. A mane is the name of the hair on the horse's head. Your mane is beautiful too, Roby. Horses have four big strong legs that support their heavy bodies and help them run really fast. Horses love to run. Look how fast they are. That's called galloping. Let's race the horses, Roby. <laughs> Don't feel bad, Roby. Horses are some of the fastest animals in the world. That's a foal. A baby horse. It's only been a few hours since this foal was born, and already he can stand up and walk. And in just a few days, a foal like this will be able to run with his friends. But even though foals can run with their friends, they still love staying close to their mamas. And just like babies, foals love to drink milk. Lots of milk. This little guy's hungry. And I see you're hungry too, Roby. Bon appetit. Don't be scared, Roby. That's just the horse name. A neigh is the sound horses make when they want to talk to each other. That's it, Roby. I think the horses heard you. When horses aren't running and playing, they're eating. Their favorite food is grass and hay. Hay is for horses, not Roby's. Horses are very friendly and love spending time together. I'm sure the horses would love to be friends with you, too. And do you know how they show their love for their family and friends? They help keep each other clean. It looks like you're ready to ride, Roby. Okay, go have fun with your new friends, Roby. Giddy up! Let me introduce you to a new friend, a giraffe. Giraffes are the tallest animals in the world. Even zebras look itty bitty next to giraffes. That's right, Roby. Giraffes have long legs and long necks. Being tall helps giraffes reach all the way to the top of tall trees to get their favorite food. It's silly, Roby. You can't do that. Only giraffes can. That's how they get to eat their favorite food, leaves on top of the trees. And since no other animals are as tall, giraffes get to eat all the leaves they want. 
Giraffes even have long tongues that help them lick the leaves right off the trees. Imagine a giraffe licking your face like that, Roby. Sometimes being tall isn't so great. When there are no tall trees around for giraffes to get their leaves, they have to eat something else. Do you know what they eat instead? Grass. Giraffes have to bend their long necks all the way down to the ground to eat the grass. And that can be a pain in the neck. <laughs> Do you know what's even harder for giraffes than eating grass? Drinking from a pond. They have to bend their long legs to do that. It takes a lot of work. Just watch. Look at this baby giraffe. Yeah, this is a baby giraffe next to his mom. He sure is big for a baby. Baby giraffes are called calves, and they're this big when they're born. Bigger than most grown-ups. And just like babies, Calves love drinking milk from their mommies. Giraffes are really nice, too. They love spending time with their family and friends, having fun together. Would you like to be friends with the giraffes? Okay, Roby. I think they like you, too. Are you ready to see something really awesome, Roby? Every giraffe has its own special spots. Yeah, check it out. No two spots are the same. Every giraffe is unique, just like you, Roby. Unique means that you're special and there's no one in the world like you. Of course you're unique, Roby. And I'm lucky to have a special friend like you. Time to say bye-bye to the giraffes. Be careful, Roby. Don't be scared, Roby. This is just a dog, and he's wagging his tail from side to side because he's happy. Are you happy now too, Roby? Most dogs love people. Some say that a dog can be your best friend. Look at all these dogs, Roby. They come in so many different shapes, sizes, and colors. There are small dogs and big dogs like this. Some dogs have really short hair. And some have really long hair like this. Poor Shaggy Dog can't see because he has so much hair covering his eyes. Even though dogs look so different, they're also a lot alike. Dogs have a very good sense of smell. They use their noses to find things they need. Like food. Dogs love to eat. And eat. And eat. All that eating makes dogs thirsty. Dogs have big tongues they use to get the water into their mouths. Good idea, Roby. You can use a straw to drink. Dogs also have super hearing. See, Roby? The dog can hear you from all the way over there. That's a dog barking. Barking is a dog's way of talking. <laughs> Good try, Roby, but I think we should leave the barking to dogs. Dogs are also super friendly. Look how happy this one is to see you. And remember how we know when dogs are happy? That's right, Roby. They wag their tails from side to side. And what makes dogs really happy is playing. They love to play with each other and with people. Yeah, and with Robies, too. Look at these baby dogs, Roby. Aren't they cute? Do you know what baby dogs are called, Roby? They're called puppies. And like little babies, they love to play. And also like babies, 
Puppies spend most of their time with their mommies. Their mommy gives them lots of milk so they can become big and strong. After a long day of playing, it looks like this dog needs some rest. And you need some rest too. There you go, Roby. Have a good night. Robbie? Yes, all this water is called an ocean. Do you want to see something really awesome? These beautiful creatures are called fish. They come in so many different colors, sizes, and shapes. These are fish. This is a fish. Even these are fish. <laughs> yes, fish are cool, Robbie. Look, there are a lot of fish. When fish swim together, it's called a school of fish. Look out for that big fish, little friends. That's a lionfish, Robbie. Fish has two eyes, just like us. Count them out with me. One and two. And look, that fish has a mouth, too. Fish eat all kinds of things, Robbie. This one likes to eat rocks for breakfast. Yes, rocks. But you and I will stick with cereal and fruit for our breakfast. <laughs> And do you know how fish breathe? Let's go and ask. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Fish. Can you show me how you breathe underwater? Fish have gills to help them breathe. Take a look. Oh, I forgot to tell you something extra cool about fish. You see how this fish moves so smoothly through the water? That's because fish have fins and tails to help them swim fast. Do you want to have a race with the fish, Robbie? Okay, let's go. Ready, set, go. And they're off. And it's Mr. Fish by a nose, gills, and a tail. Good try, Robbie. Are you tired from the race, Robbie? You're not the only sleepy one in this ocean. Take a look. You see, even though their eyes are open, they're actually sleeping. It's how fish sleep. I think it's time for us to get to bed too, Robbie. Say goodnight to all our new fish friends. <laughs> the cutest robot. Robbie is a name. Making friends with animals. That's Robbie's favorite game. On land and in the sea, in deserts in that tree. Who wants to play with Roby? Me, me, me. Let's see. Creatures are called ducks, and they're just about to get up and start their day. Look, Mr. Duck is up now and ready to play. 
Ducks come in many different colors. There's a brown one, and a black one, and... Yes, this one even has some green on him. Look how beautiful he is. It must be great fun being a duck, spending all your time in big groups with friends and family. These big groups are called flocks. You're very funny, Roby. You just made a flock of Robies. <laughs> and when they're together, they love doing fun things. Like swimming. Ducks aren't just fast swimmers, they're fast flyers too. Watch. Good job, Roby. You won! Look, this is a baby duck, and baby ducks are called ducklings and hatch from an egg. Baby ducks learn how to swim soon after they hatch. They just hop in the water and follow their mommy. And if the ducklings swim too far away, the mommy duck just quacks to get them back. That's right, Roby. Ducks talk to each other by quacking. Check out their funny feet. Did you ever see anything like it? Yeah, ducks have special feet that help them paddle underwater. Ducks can stay in the water as long as they want because their feathers are waterproof. See how they take good care of their feathers? Those are some fancy feathers, Roby. You look great. Dinner time, duckies. Those are beaks, Roby. Like all birds, ducks too have beaks to help them eat seeds and drink. Good job, Roby. Even though you don't have a beak, you can eat just like a duck. This is funny. The ducks are looking for food underwater. They can do that too. You may look like a duck and quack like a duck, but you're still not a duck, Roby. Ducks love to fly. That's how they travel from one place to another, just like you. Bye-bye, ducks. Bye-bye, Roby. Did you make a new discovery, Roby? Do you know what it is? Yes, it's a bunny rabbit. And here are some more rabbits. Lots more rabbits. Some are white and some are brown. Some have long fur and some have short fur. And some rabbits have big long ears like this. <laughs> Do you know why rabbits have such big ears? So they can hear you coming. <laughs> rabbits use their ears to hear things from far away. Some have ears that face forward, and others have flippity floppity ears like this. But rabbits aren't born with big ears. When they're babies, their ears are small and short. But as they get older and bigger, so do their ears. Yes, just like that. <laughs> Baby rabbits are the cutest, littlest, itsiest, bitsiest things. That's why their mommies need to take extra special care of them when they're young. You want to know what grown-up rabbits eat, Roby? Let me show you. They eat lots of leaves and grass, and even fruits and veggies. Rabbits are really healthy animals. And you're a really healthy Roby. What is it, Roby? Oh, I see you've noticed the rabbit's nose. It keeps on twitching. That's how rabbits smell. That's their other super skill besides hearing. 
Rabbits have a super sense of smell. Look how fast the rabbit's nose moves. That means it's smelling something right now. And there's something else you can learn from the rabbit's nose. When a rabbit is scared, it'll move its nose faster and faster. And when a rabbit's happy, it'll move its nose slower and slower. I can see you're happy too, Roby. You know what else rabbits are good at? Cleaning. But rabbits don't take baths like us. They just stand on their back legs and clean themselves with the front legs. It looks like this Robo Bunny is all cleaned up and ready for bed. And now it's time to say goodbye. Bye-bye, Roby. Bye-bye, rabbits. You want to play too, Roby? Good, because these are funny, furry little friends who love to play. They're called foxes. Quiz time, Roby. Can you tell me what other animal foxes look like? That's right, Roby. Foxes look like dogs because dogs and foxes are from the same family. Yes, Roby. Just like cousins. Foxes love family. They live together with their family so they can take care of each other. Just like us, foxes have mommies who take care of their babies. And when baby foxes make a mess, mommy fox has to keep them clean. Bon appetit, Foxy! See this fox's nose, Roby? It's long and pointy to help the fox sniff out food. I see you're hungry too, Roby. But I don't think you want to eat what the fox is eating, Roby. Foxes have big ears. Those big ears help them hear tiny noises from far, far away. Do you hear something from far away, Roby? <laughs> then let's check it out. Good ears, Roby. You heard the foxes sticking in the ground. And hey, look at this fox jumping. Where did he go? He went home to his burrow. Sometimes their burrows are up high above ground. Burrows are just like houses. It's where the foxes keep their food, sleep, and hang out with their families. Good thing you brought a flashlight, Roby. Foxes love nighttime. It's when they go out and play and eat from their mommies. Yes, and they rest mostly during the day. Let me show you. Be very quiet, Roby. After a long night of playing with their families and looking for food, these foxes are taking a nice nap. Shh, Roby. He's sleeping. You want to play with the foxes some more, Roby? Come with me. Here you go, Roby. Some fluffy foxy friends ready to play with you. Have fun playing, Roby. See you next time. Look, Roby, this animal looks just like your teddy bear. <laughs> And do you know why? Because it's a real bear. But these are no teddy bears, Roby. These bears are real, and they're really big. 
And these really big bears live all over our really big world. Look at this white bear. He's a polar bear. And polar bears live in cold, snowy places. Polar bears have a white fur that protects them from the cold. Just like your big, warm fur hat. Having white fur helps them blend in with their white, snowy surroundings. And do you see all that snow? This is a frozen ocean. That's where polar bears live. It's too cold here. I think it's time we go meet some bears where it's a little warmer, Obi. Did you see that bear's nose moving? That's how he smells. Bears have very sensitive noses and can smell food from far, far away. And when a bear smells something in the air, he'll follow it. Look at him standing on two legs. He wants to get a better sniff. What's the bear doing in the river? Is that where the food is? That's it. He's trying to catch a fish. And here's Mama Bear and her little baby bears. They're called cubs, and they're super cute. They just love to play. While the cubs play, Mama Bear likes to take a nap. It's a lot of work caring for the cubs. And this baby bear has a great game, climbing to the tippy tops of trees using his long claws. Another thing bears do with their claws is scratch themselves all over, even their noses. <laughs> After a long day of eating, climbing trees and scratching, this bear is ready for bed. Good night, Roby. Good night, bears. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.